the first few years it was mainly my back, but here lately it's gotten up into my neck really bad and my hips. My hips are probably the worst. Mm. Ah. 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 Wow, this is absolutely insane. If you have ankylosing spondylitis, you should never let a chiropractor do this to you. Hi, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. So what is ankylosing spondylitis? This is a type of arthritis that causes chronic inflammation that affects your spine and joints. As the disease progresses, it can lead to the bones fusing together, which we refer to as a bamboo spine. You can also have bone growths, adding to the, really the pain and stiffness of this disorder. There's really no cure for ankylosing spondylitis, but certain treatments, medications, therapies can help slow down the condition and help lessen the pain and other symptoms that patients face. While chiropractic care can provide symptomatic relief, such as improved mobility, reduced pain for some individuals with back pain, while those with ankylosing spondylitis, it's very crucial to take an approach that is complementary that is some type of therapy rather than a primary treatment. Chiropractic care often inc includes spinal manipulation, mobilization, and exercises aimed at improving your joint function and reducing any discomfort. However, its efficacy in managing the underlying inflammation and structural changes associated with ankylosing spondylitis is really not well established. Researchers who have looked at studies relating to treating ankylosing spondylitis have found very little evidence that chiropractic spinal adjustments help these patients with this condition. But there is some evidence of potential severe harm. Because of this, the panel issued a strong recommendation against these high velocity thrusts used for spinal adjustments in patients with ankylosing spondylitis. So what's the real issue here? Well, the spinal adjustments done by a chiropractor could unintentionally cause a fracture or dislocation in the spine or neck, given the way that their bones are fused together. This is really worrisome when it comes to the neck. Patients also have this ossification of the disc spaces, which this makes identifying fractures very hard. We often use advanced imaging studies like an MRI uh, in these patient population to evaluate for cervical fractures, as well as look for what's called an epidural hemorrhage or bleed. Obtaining a MRI is very crucial in this setting. The diagnosis of epidural bleed or hematoma carries a really high mortality rate and often requires operative intervention. Many people with ankylosing spondylitis also have osteoporosis, which is thinning of the bones. Chiropractic treatments are not usually recommended if you have osteoporosis. These spinal adjustments can cause harm since you may not even know that this patient has osteoporosis, especially in the earlier stages. The risks include fractures, injuries to the spinal cord, and often paralysis. So after watching this video, I don't know what the hell is going on, but if you have ankylosing spondylitis, do not have this done by a chiropractor. So it's important for individuals who have ankylosing spondylitis to consult with healthcare professionals who are experienced in managing this condition. This may involve a rheumatologist, a physical therapist, and other specialists who can provide comprehensive care that is tailored to the individual's needs. Always consult with your healthcare provider before pursuing any complementary treatments, including chiropractic care, especially if you have a chronic condition like ankylosing spondylitis. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.